Drake is taking Kendrick Lamar's label to court. That's right. Drake is suing UMG for what he says is conspiring to artificially inflate the streaming numbers of Kendrick Lamar's Drake diss, Not Like Us. Here are a few things that are claimed in the lawsuit. One, that UMG Universal Music Group used Spotify and Apple's Siri to push Not Like Us over Drake's tracks. Employees perceived as loyal to Drake were allegedly fired as a part of an effort to cover up UMG's actions. UMG paid influencers and radio stations to boost Lamar's song without disclosure. A whistleblower revealed bots generated 30 million early streams for Not Like Us. Drake is accusing UMG and Spotify of violating the RICO as well as the NY Deceptive Business Act and the NY False Advertising Act. Insane after literally putting Kendrick on a countdown and saying drop, 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 drop after using artificial intelligence to create tailor-made. Speaking of deception, right now, UMG did respond to this. That's Kendrick's distributor or label, if you will. UMG, they own like all the music in the world almost. And uh, here's what they said. They said the suggestion that UMG would do anything to undermine any of its artists is offensive and untrue. We employ the highest ethical practices in our marketing and promotional campaigns. No amount of contrived and absur absurd legal arguments in this pre-action submission can mask the fact that fans choose the music they want to hear. So Drake just could not deal. Right now, Not Like Us has about 178 million uh, views on it. Kendrick's new releases and stuff like that. Squabble Up has 5.4 million views on it already. Just dropped today, 11 hours ago. Uh, all his tracks that he came out have upwards of 2 to 3 million, 4 million, 5 million views on them. Um, meet the Grams at 40 million, <laughs> Euphoria at 50 something million. Uh, so these are obviously very good numbers for Kendrick and uh, Drake. Uh, I mean, come on, man. So you don't use bots. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, J. Cole's quote. And J. Cole's quote was like, uh, on, um, he said, uh, How many fake in their streams? Getting they play from machines. Some people, uh, some people make millions. Other people make memes. Something like that, right? I'm paraphrasing. But uh, you can see the reaction on social media. Somebody said Drake literally begged Kendrick to drop. That's what makes this a thousand times funnier. The lawsuit admits that Drake has suffered economic harm because of the beef with Kendrick Lamar. Uh, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Filed Monday in Manhattan. Drake's Frozen Moments LLC accused UMG of launching an illegal scheme involving bots, payola, and other methods to pump up Lamar's song, a track that savagely attacked Drake amid an ongoing feud. Honestly, I mean, you didn't have to go far. I mean, the NBA channel was playing this, the NFL was, was playing this, and uh, this thread is basically uh, a bunch of... So there's this thread online of all of the mustard references just since Kendrick dropped. So Shrek, the Shrek account, which is a Disney account, tw uh, tweeted the mustard meme. McDonald's tweeted the mustard meme. DreamWorks Animation tweeted it. All right. Crunchyroll, I believe that's, isn't that an app or something like that? Anime figures, there you go. Uh, the NFL tweeted this. So I don't think Kendrick needs any bots or anything. I mean, that that's called promo, man. You spend money. You, people used to have street teams, 
and they'll send out, you know, people to be on a street team and, you know, talk to, uh, I mean, hit the streets and promote the album. I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now Drake is, uh, he, he he's crying wolf, man. I don't get it. Then he appears on the uh, random dude stream. I don't know, dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm supposed to know dude or what. But I didn't know, dude. Right. So then he got up there, and um, people was like, "Why would you go on his on his stream?" You know, and act sitting up there, you know, <laughs> pandering to Drake and Drake fans all day every day, and he still didn't give him a look. You know, so somebody said that lawsuit gonna backfire when UMG exposes how Drake has benefited from Paola Bot's massive playlisting. Kendrick made one ninja sue and one ninja quit. They said they were his peers. They said it's going to be a long week. <laughs> so anyway, man, let me know what y'all think about Drake suing Kung Fu Kenny right before the Super Bowl or his label. And uh, again, you know, I see people still talking about the numbers and, you know, the streaming. Bro, when you take away all of the gimmicks and all of the numbers and you just get back to the essence of hip-hop and rap battles kendrick body drake not one song not two songs not three songs not four songs you know what i'm saying like along with the videos along with the rollout along with the calculated moves and all i mean just when he dropped Family Matters, he dropped Meet the Grams like 30 minutes later. Just all of that, bro. It just, he got cooked. And ain't no numbers or no lawsuits or none of that going to reverse it. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. As always, Champ Side. Peace.